Jeez, I haven't done a rant in like how long since April with the Hannah Ballsack incident? Yeah. Now let's talk about something else. And this time we are talking about Netflix. Netflix released a movie called Cuties. And it depicts 11-year-old such underage girls in a twerking group doing sexual dances, nudity, and other sexual behavior. An 11-year-old kid should not be doing Now, everyone has a problem with this film. So do I. On TikTok, if you follow me on TikTok, go follow me. If you're not following me, it's I heard it's going to be shutting down in a few days. Well, it's going to be banned in America in a few days. If you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. I spoke about it. And I said... Netflix needs to take this film down before it's ever released. They did not take it down at all. In fact, they went on to say that it's supposed to be about an empowerment. A film about power and strength and stuff like that. When in reality... It's a film for pedophiles. It's a film made by pedophiles. It's a film produced by pedophiles. And it's a film for pedophiles like Joe Biden and all the other pedophiles of the Bill Clinton, the Epstein plane thing. It is a film for them. And now that this film is released, everyone is canceling their Netflix subscriptions. Meaning Netflix done goofed. This is an unforgivable act. It should never have been made in the first place. It should never have been financed in the first it shouldn't have even happened. Let's just go ahead and just say it should never have been made. should never have happened. But guess what? It did. And there's nothing we can do about it. There are petitions. And I'm pretty sure the petition to get it sh- taken off Netflix has reached what people wanted. It was supposed to have 500,000 signatures. And let's see what it's at right now. Hold on, let me check. I'm going to have to open Twitter and go to the... uh, Yes, it is number two trending, technically. Kind of number two, probably number three trending is this pedo film. Trying to find here's the petition. I am opening the petition up on my computer here. Let's see what we are at with the petition. Let's see, you need five hundred thousand. We are at, I cannot see, 358,497 signatures out of 500,000. (sighs) 
Netflix says the film's about empowerment when in reality it is the literal definition of child porn. Some that people like 6 9 Jared Fogle all went to prison for. Hell, 6 9 should still be in prison. Should never have been released. Danger to society and children. The fact that this film exists pisses me off. And I think I speak for everyone when I say that this film is near one of the top ten things wrong with this year. Probably in the top five next to the virus, the riots... the Democratic Party, and the Epstein. Hell, maybe the Australian fires is there. Put that there. Hell, it's worse than that. No, actually, it's not worse than that. Behind it, but very close. This is pedophilia on the max. This is worse than, you know, all those names, like the, the, the pro wrestling speaking out movement and the um, Me Too movement that happened like back in June. Yeah, this is worse than that. Because this is proof that the director of this film should not be allowed to work with children anymore. Hell, this film shouldn't have happened. I've said that many times. I end up repeating myself a bunch of the times but i'm going to give you some examples of and this film is rated is basically r rated 18 plus i'm going to give you an example of a film that has children in it that's 18 plus and does not sexualize kids kick ass 2 kick ass 1 and 2 have a little girl yes she curses a lot like in cuties they curse a lot however they had the decency to actually clothe her in kick-ass films. Seriously. There is not one nude shot of her. In the first film, she is a child. In the second, she's about a teenager. They had at least had the decency to put clothes on her. Hell, during one scene in the first film, she shot but wore a bulletproof vest under her costume. The only women in the Kick-Ass movies and the Sin City films that have nudity shown are the adults. The adult women are the only ones with nudity shown in both the Sin City. Hell, Sin City 1 had a little girl playing a young Nancy Callahan and she was fully clothed. And then, of course, we jumped into the future with adult like 19 year old Nancy Callahan which is fine if you're looking for her boobs it's just Jessica Alba Sin City came out in 2005 Kick-Ass came out in 2010 Kick-Ass 2 came out 2013 you know what those have in common almost all of them are rated lower on Rotten Tomatoes than cuties. Yeah, Ron Tomatoes gave it 88. I'm going to pull up the ratings for said film. IMDb 1.6 out of 10. Google 4% like this movie. Those people are more likely pedophiles. Metacritic 64, what were you thinking? And Ron Tomatoes 88, what was Sin City rated? Sin City was rated 
On Rotten Tomatoes, 77. What was Kick-Ass 1 rated? Seventy six on Rotten Tomatoes. And now Kick Ass Two. Very underrated film. Not many people like Kick Ass Two, but it's a fun time in my opinion. Kick Ass Two was rated thirty two percent. Now let's compare it to films that don't have ped child pedophilia or pornography in it. Deadpool 2 and the first Deadpool were rated lower than Cuties on Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes is also to blame because they rated it way too high. The audience score was is 3%. But the reviews or the tomato meter is fucking broken. I mean, come on. The fact that the fact that this film exists pisses me off. It never should have seen the light of day. What else can I compare it to? Hmm? Would you guys believe me when I say that this film was rated higher on Rotten Tomatoes than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Would you believe me? Would you believe me when I say that this film is rated higher on Rotten Tomatoes than Batman Begins? You wouldn't, but it's true, because Rotten Tomatoes is also broken. What else can we compare it to? Hmm. At this point, it doesn't matter what I compare it to. This is the worst thing ever made. In terms of movies. Hell, I'll even say that it's worse than Son of the Mask. Worse than Catwoman. Worse than the Emoji Movie. Worse than Food Fight. All because of that little child pornography stamp that's on it. And what's worse, Netflix is defending this movie. They are defending it. Netflix has produced good stuff. The Daredevil TV show. They have produced... What else have they produced? Um, shit, I have to check what's on Netflix now. I ain't going to look at cuties because fuck that. I ain't watching it. They've produced some good stand-up comedy. Like Jeff Dunham, Kevin Hart, stand-up comedy... They've produced that. They produced Babysitter, a horror film. What else have they produced? Netflix isn't loading. Netflix is refusing to load for me. Ain't that fun. 
This is the worst thing they have put out. Worst thing they've released. Netflix has lost all of its credibility when they released this. 18 plus. No 17 year old can watch it. Not even the little girls who starred in the film can watch it. Now, people are canceling their Netflix subscriptions out of this. And there's video proof that they have actually done it. Which is more than you can say for WWE fans who say, Oh, I'm canceling my WWE Network subscription. Guess what? They don't do it. This film is so disgusting that people actually went through with canceling their Netflix subscriptions. Imagine that. People actually doing what they say. Can't believe Netflix would stoop so low as to put child pornography. Hell, they're one of the top streaming services. They were going to the top when streaming services were on their peak when quarantine started. Because you couldn't go to the movies. You can go anywhere. Netflix was near the top. But I believe Disney Plus eventually beat it. So Netflix stooped low to get 11-year-old girls in a twerking group in a move made into a movie. Now I know Netflix didn't originally pitch the movie. But they posted it to their platform. I mean, how much lower can you get from child porn? Actually posting a dead body in your fucking movie? Is that the lowest you can get? Because at this point, I think pedophilia is way lower than that. It is the worst thing you can put out. Child porn. To the people who defend this film, really, really need to go get help because this is not okay hell they don't even need to get help just call the cops on them because I bet you they are the people the 4% of people who like this film according to Google the 4% of people who like this film are old ass men who don't have wives And other people also go by the name of Joe Biden, 6 9 and Jared Fogle. I bet those are the 4% that watched this movie. And liked it. I didn't even see the film. And I'm not going to see the film. It is disgusting. Now... I wouldn't have been interested in the film either way because I would never have heard of it if not for the controversy because I'm more of an action and superhero comic book film guy. I have about boxes of comics. Boxes on top of boxes. I'm more into that. So if this film never got any controversy, I would have never have heard of it in the first place. The fact that it got this much controversy surrounding it 
means everyone's going to be talking about it. Everyone's going to be attacking Netflix, which they should. Everyone's going to be I don't even know what to say anymore. This year has been the absolute worst. This being the next worst thing. I mean, every month you've had some bullshit. January, you had Kobe's death. February, I'm not sure what... I think you had COVID spikes in... Um, March, lockdown. April, protests. May, protest turns into riots. June, everyone, a- actors getting called out. Actors, wrestlers, internet personalities getting called out for abuse, sexual assault, and pedophilia. July. What happened in July? Uh, In July, I think, those charges continued. No. In July, we had more riots. We had political arguments. August. We had the death of Chadwick Boseman. And then this month, Cuties gets released. It, I don't think in human history, we have went through a year this bad. I am recording this at 4.32 a.m. on September 11th, 2020. If you come back to this video and more bullshit has happened, comment it. Comment it. Please. Because at this point, I don't know what to think anymore. Oh no, I'll tell you what happened my, in July. July has been worse for my family as well because in July, my grandfather passed away. At this point, just don't cancel Netflix. Just cancel 2020 altogether. Because this whole year has been a shit stay. Shit stain. I don't even know anymore. I'm so tired at this point. Just... How could this year get worse? We're in September, and in every month of the year, the year gets worse and worse within every month. I even called on TikTok to cancel 2020 and just say to everyone, all right, so 2019 was an okay year, and then we got 2021. Wait, what happened to 2020? Never happened. Just say the 20... I'm just calling that... 2020 isn't even a year. It's a fucking event. 
an event that's more likely going to be made into a fucking movie at this point. Because at this point, every event gets a movie. For this to be what the world's come to. With Netflix. TikTok possibly getting banned in America. I'm Trump is set to ban it in America by the 15th of September. This will be posted later today on the 11th of September. Hopefully he doesn't ban it because... At that point, this TikTok is all I got at the moment. I don't even know. What the fuck to do. I will link my link tree in the description if you guys want to follow me and other shit. At this point, I can't even be bothered. Share this video with your friends if you want. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. I'll see you fellas later today for CAW Live. Take care.